A few weeks ago I shot a video about capturing an amplifier with Moore GE300 and you know I love the tone capture feature of this device. I think it works nearly flawless and unlike the bottlenecks of profiling technique of Camper or Neuralamp modeler in these days it's really popular. It allows you to adjust the final result. It allows you to adjust the profile like a real amplifier instead of some post adjustment. So today we will create a profile of a plugin. But before starting to the video, if you want more content about plugins and processors, floorboards, you know, all of those digital stuff, please don't forget to give a like to the video. It will help me understand what you want to see in this channel. Let's return to the capturing stuff. In this tutorial, I'm gonna use the 14 Kelly plugin by Neural DSP. And of course we have a Moore GE 300. I'm gonna use my Focusrite 18i20 as an audio interface, but I'm gonna explain the routing on a Focusrite Solo. It's the first generation, it's kinda old, but it will help you to understand better, I believe. Also, I have my Jackson KVMG Pro with Samer Duncan JB and 59. Of course, we will create the profile with JB. Also, capturing a plugin might sound weird or unnecessary for some of you guys, but I think it will be helpful because in these days we are using plugins for nearly everything and having the exact presets of your plugin in the studio, in the rehearsal room or at the stage would be quite nice. Let's start with the routing. Of course, our guitar goes to the input of the Moore GE300 and then we will connect the sand of the Moore GE300 to the input of our audio interface. It should go to the input section of this device. And then we have return. You should connect the return section of the Moore to your audio interface's output. It should go to the back side of it. You can either connect the return section as stereo to your audio interface but as long as we are using our guitar signal as mono connecting only one side of those devices will be enough and then you need the output you can either use the phones or the main output section of this device let's sum it up guitar goes to the Moore GE 300's input and then sand goes to the input of your audio interface return goes to the output of your audio interface either mono or stereo as mono or stereo and then you have to hear this audio you have to hear the signal from one of those outputs by your headphones by your reference monitors or your cabinet it's up to you after this we are good to go i put an overdrive pedal and an amplifier on my moore ge 300 in the 14 kelly i select a nice preset but i have to close the eq section cabinet section and the effects sections because I want to capture the stomp and the amplifier section of this plugin. I can put different impulse response files from GE300 as well or I might want to use a real cabinet. Because of this we will capture the stomp and amplifier section of this plugin only. We have an overdrive pedal in here, amplifier in here and then we open the tone capture section. During the capturing process you will hear the sound of the preamp amplifier without a cabinet and also it will be the room sound but then I'm gonna put the results at the end of the video obviously. So here's our target. It's a simple fizzy noise. And then we have the GE300 with amplifier and, and tube screamer only. By the way, the similarity of the target and the source will directly affect the result of your capturing process. I tried to adjust the target and source but you can get better results, better captures by spending more time on making target and source more similar. So Now we captured it. Now let me connect the GE300 to the audio interface directly and then let's compare the results.
So this was how to capture a plugin with Murji E300. I hope you enjoyed the content, enjoyed the tutorial. Please give a like to the video, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share your opinions in the comments. It's really important to the growth of this channel. Till the next video, see ya.